Hey, Carson Bible Church, it's time for Family Movie Night, and um, just like all of our other ministries, it's going to be different this time. Obviously, I can't show an entire movie here, but uh, our movie for tonight, I think probably a lot of you have access to it or have already seen it, um, so I uh, hope that you can watch it together with your family at home, and then I have some discussion questions here on the video for you to talk about and some scripture for you guys to read together. Um, our movie for this month is Toy Story 4. So I think probably a lot of you have already seen it, um, and probably most of you have access to it. I would like you to try to watch the movie together as a family today before coming back to the discussion questions. Um, I think there's a lot to discuss uh, with a movie like this. Uh, especially uh, related to the discussions that we have for family movie night. So I think we could talk a lot about um, Woody's ideas of what it means to uh, be in a relationship with a child and what it means for a child to need a toy and for a child to love a toy. And I think that we could probably make some connections there to our relationship with God and um, how you know we might mistake God's love and affection for us for uh, God needing us. Um, I think we could talk a lot about purpose and uh, being made for a specific purpose and what it means to be content in that purpose and uh, to fulfill it and, and to live it out and what it means to, to finally complete that purpose, actually. Um, but for today, I think I would like to focus our discussion time on the relationship between Woody and this new character, uh, Gabby Gabby. So I have a couple of discussion questions for you. Um, the first is, what is it that Gabby Gabby needs? There's something very specific in the movie that she uh, is convinced that she must have, and uh, she'll do absolutely anything in her power to get that thing. So what is it, and uh, why is it that she needs it? Secondly, how does she know that she needs that thing? Uh, Gabby Gabby has a very specific idea of what her relationship to a child should be and uh, there's there's something that she has that tells her what that relationship should be like and and it tells her why that relationship is not right because of that thing that she is convinced that she needs so what is it that that Gabby Gabby has that tells her that uh, she's incomplete and that her relationship with a child needs to be a certain way. And thirdly, why does Gabby Gabby need that thing from Woody? What is it about Woody specifically? Um, what is it that he has that Gabby Gabby needs to be fulfilled and to, to live her purpose, what she was made for? Um, I, I would like you to uh, talk about those questions and I would like you to read together as a family this passage from Ezekiel chapter 36. I'd like you to read from verses 22 to 36. I'm going to read just a few verses from that passage for you right now. Verse 26 says, And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. So you and I have hearts that don't work right. Uh, and in fact, they never worked right. We were defective from the factory, so to speak. And our relationship with God uh, can never be what it was intended to be. We have a book that God has given us that tells us what our relationship is supposed to be and it tells us what we're supposed to look like and, and how we're supposed to work and function. And when we read that book, we see that we're not working and we're not functioning properly. And as long as we're not functioning properly, our relationship with God can never be what it was intended to be. And so uh, we need a heart transplant, so to speak. We need the heart from one who was loyal from the only one who was ever completely faithful, from the only one who was ever actually lived his purpose correctly. And we need God to uh, replace our hearts so that we can be in a proper relationship with him. 
I hope you enjoyed the movie and I hope you enjoyed your discussion time. And I hope that uh, after your discussion time, you'll spend some time in prayer with your family as well. God bless.